Hey everyone, Megan Olivia here in Las Vegas for International Fight Week. The annual UFC Hall of Fame induction ceremony takes place in just a few moments with a stacked class of 2017. Let's take a look at the ceremony. Every year the Hall of Fame induction ceremony is truly one of the highlights of this International Fight Week as we pay tribute to the forerunners of MMA. It's a time for tenured fans to relive their heroes' greatest moments and to revel in the accomplishments of the legends who first drew them to the sport. Of course, it's also a chance for newer fans to experience, many of them for the first time, the amazing achievements of those who set the stage for the biggest stars of today's UFC. Even though I'm a kickboxer at heart, I became an MMA fighter. Boss, you know, myself, Boss, Frank Shamrock, Ken Shamrock, we all became champions from a humble beginning, and now, 20 years later, here's why, here I am, in front of you, people who don't know me very well, but I would, I would venture to say, go look me up. I had a great career, 20 plus years. I stopped fighting in 2013. That puts me at 57 years old. I lost one, I won one. Now my time is done, and at the end of the day, I get this, this acknowledgement, this accolades. So, I wanna thank again, Joe Silva, the Fertitas, both Frank and Lorenzo, Dana White, and all the people who have supported to help me get here. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Today, I can't express how deeply moved I am I can't express how deeply moved I am to receive this honor. Up to this point, I've lived a life without awards and titles. It's been a little while since the last time I won something, and it was the first prize in a bingo game. When a fan sees me face off against a much larger opponent, and it inspires them to take on difficult challenges. As a professional, nothing could make me happier. My fans, uh, I'm sorry, I fought for the love of my fans. I fought tooth and nail to give them a show they enjoy, one that they deserve. Thank you and thanks from the bottom of my heart to everyone at UFC who have allowed me to be here and have bestowed upon me this great honor. I want to thank everyone from the original UFC. Campbell, David, Bob Marowitz, Art Davey, and the Gracie family for creating this amazing promotion that would change my life and change martial arts all over the world. In 2001, Zufa bought the UFC and made me a vice president. Thank you to Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell for putting in a good word for me. Dana White and Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta were amazing people to work for. Working for Dana was very much like being on Star Trek with him being Captain Kirk and me being Mr. Scott. I'd be like, Captain, she can't take anymore. And he'd be like, damn it, Scotty, make it happen. And I would find a way. Of course, I want to thank all the unbelievable fighters who competed in the UFC. If I was the one to give the post, uh, post weigh-in speech, I would always tell the fighters, please fight hard. When you fight hard, I look like a genius. And when you don't, I look like an idiot who should find another job. When somebody would tell me what a great job I did after a good show, I would just say, it was the fighters. They brought it. I didn't do anything different than the show that wasn't as good. The majority of the time, the fighters did bring it. And for that, they have my eternal gratitude. Thank you very much. I was the heir of the hustler, which means there wasn't a real opportunity for us, us lighter weight fighters or for fighters in general. You thought there was because you saw people on TV and, and things like that, but we had to hustle. It's always been about having fun for me. You know, it really has. And I always said, uh, you know, I'm going to stop when it stops being fun. And it didn't quite stop being fun. I mean, it was, there was nothing like that, that last fight in Arco Arena. But I mean, that was, that was going to be a hard one to top. You know, I just, I just want to thank everybody who has a positive attitude out there and has good energy. And, and uh, thank you for, for being a part of this experience. It's, it's just the very beginning for me. 
I was hoping I wasn't going to get teared up, and I pulled it off because I'm, I'm just thinking about the future. Congratulations to the class of 2017 in the UFC Hall of Fame. Looking forward to see who gets honored next year.